hello guys welcome to day two of my 30 day video challenge where i showcase all of my template so today's episode just to follow in a chronological order we're going to focus on our audits program all right so and um, without wasting time let me quickly head over to the template and that is it right there this is our audit program so what is audit program all about it is always important that you plan ahead as far as health and safety is concerned and you want to really you know plan your audits as well because if you fail to plan that means you're planning to fail all right again audit program is quite important because it helps you to demonstrate to your clients that you are committed to health and safety and you have system in place to actually audit your management system against a set of criteria for all your business processes in order to identify the gaps and implement corrective actions and preventive actions that will ensure continual improvement all right so having an audit program is how you demonstrate to your stakeholders that you are committed to continual improvement all right, so without wasting time, let's look at what this template is all about. As per the description right here, audit program is a template for planning audits for all business processes according to recognized audit criteria. All right, so you have your own audit criteria, like your audit checklist, but this is strictly for scheduling audits for the year. All right, so um, as per the structure of our template, we have the you know, table of content as part of the ergonomic features of our templates, you would always find a table of content where we give you an overview of what the template is all about, all right, or the various sections within the template. So we have the approved list. We have the source data, which is the main database where you'll be building your data, all right. We have the dashboard. We have a Gantt chart. We have some reports. And these reports, we are looking at number of planned audits duration audit duration for various processes the audit days due and then the audit completion status all right so that gives you an overview of what the template is all about so let's try to understand what approved list is so approved list is always like the settings within the template it helps you to predefine your parameters take note that our templates are plug and play templates so plug and play template means that we are giving you you room for you to plug in your data so we build a template site that there's room for you to plug in your data and that implies or that requires that you also predefine your set of parameters so the approved list is for you to list all your key business processes and then you also list you know your list of audit types that you're going to be carrying out for the year and then again action status so these are all just random lists you're not, you know, marking them against the other. It's just random list of key business processes and then list of various types of audits that you carry out within your organization. All right. So like audit types could be auditing against ISO standard. It could be certification audit. It could be client audit. It could be supply evaluation. It could be various types of, it could be follow-up audits based on workplace incident or whatever, incident-based audit or whatever types of audit you carry out. And then the audit status. Okay. Now there's also a section here where you need to set the starting date of the year all right and that is quite important for you to set the calendar right all right so now let's move on to the next which is the source data so the source data is where you actually plan all your audit for the year and we are actually sticking to a one-year time timeline because the calendar actually is you know spanning over just one year all right so as per the columns that we have in here you're supposed to select your audits your process business process from the drop down list so to select from the draw, all you need to just click on the cell and click here to select from the download. Now take note that the drop down list is coming from this very page. All right. So whatever you put on the approved list, that's what you can actually select in the database in a form of a drop down list. All right. Again, we have the audit types which you select. So the business process, the audit type, the start date, the finish date, and that's going to automatically give you the duration for your audits. And then the days due is going to be based on the, the start date that you've set, all right? Now, this date is actually in 2023, all right? We are currently in 2024. So I'm going to be showing you something. Let's move on to the dashboard. The dashboard is basically the whatever happens in this database. We are, being, we are trying to project it on the dashboard because we want you to be able to demonstrate all your activities. So all your EHS activities like planning audits. It's an EHS activity. It is always important that you demonstrate, you know, how you're doing it and you report on it so that you can actually share this with your stakeholders like your top management or even your clients that indeed you have planned your audit and there's a report that indicates how you are progressing as per the plan. Okay. So why are we looking at the number of planned audits for as per the types of audit that you've planned, the number of uh, processes that you've planned those audits for. Again, we have the key business processes and um, the days due for those process so every business process will have a day the days due to the the start of the audit so it's going to be counting those days due and then you have um audit completion status indicating which of the 
you know the business process have been closed as as per the audit type and then we also have the key process plan audit duration so all the duration that we set for various processes is going to be counted right here and the harder the duration obviously means that such that, that process is probably a critical process you want to take your time and audit and exhaust all the time to identify all the deviations and ensure that there's adequate compliance for against the criteria you're using right and then here is the key process and the types of audits that we've planned in our database all right so that is pretty much what this dashboard is now take note this dashboard is not 100 percent updated now this is actually the overall progress which is based on the total audits that have been planned how many have been closed all right so the total again is a close. So the total is actually 11. Close is 7, right? So that gives a percentage of 64. And then this is actually used to filter down, all right? So you'll be able to filter down right here. And then again, we have the Gantt chart where you can actually, you know, see the various business process and the time that you've set to carry out those audits. And these are the individual reports, the number of plan audits, plan audit duration, audit days due, okay? And then we have the audit completion status. Now, that is the information that's coming from here. But this, let's take note of the fact that this information is outdated because we are currently in 2024. So we want to update to the dashboard. And if I refresh all, you notice that everything goes into the negative, right? So this is going into the negative, but these ones remain the same. All right. So we want to start using this template. All you need to do is just predefine our list of business processes by providing them right in here. Provide your list of audit types. And this one remain the same. All right. Now we need to set the starting date of the year. Now, if you come to the calendar, you'll notice it's start from January 2023. So we need to set our own calendar by providing the starting date of the year, which is January 2024. And then that's going to set our calendar. As you can see, it has been set from 1st of January 2024. And all the weekends have been dynamically determined right in here. All right. So if you want to really get rid of this data and start with yours, which I'm going to be bringing it back anyway. Now, once we clear this database, now you refresh the workbook and you notice that everything is gone. That, that indicates that the template is plug and play. And whatever you plug in is what is going to be coming out on the dashboard and various other reports. So all these reports, you can see that they are vanished because we don't have anything in the database, right? So if I want to select something in the database, I just have to make sure that first and foremost, they are right in here so that I can actually select from the drop-down list. So the drop-down list is just the arrow that pops up when you click on the cell, and that is right there. So you're going to take your time to select the process, the type of audit you want to carry out, the start date. So the start date is probably going to be, let's assume, first of um Currently, we are in June, right? So let's put, we're going to start the audit, let's say, June um, 13th. Today is 12th. All right, so June 13th. I put the June 13th right there. Okay, so I'm supposed to start from the month first, as per my, my calendar. So I put June 13th, and then the finish date is going to be like, um, let's say, June 15th, right? So that gives the duration. The duration is three days, and I have one day due. Today is 12, and 13th is going to be tomorrow. So I have one day due. And this is open, right? And there's no reference yet. Now, if I come all the way to the calendar, I'm going to see that this has been scheduled, all right? Now, if I want to see that on the dashboard, I need to just refresh all. And once ref I refresh all, it tells me that I've scheduled one audit, which is ISO 45001. I've scheduled it on the business process, which is operational planning. The audit is still is currently open. And the process. So let me see what is going on here. So I click on this and it's going to filter the report properly. All right. So there was a blank that was sh still showing in the report. So I just select the audit type and it's going to indicate exactly what it is. So one operational planning, the process, the duration has been set, which is three days. The audit is open. It is on ISO 45001 and it is currently percentage progress is zero. So if I indicate this as closed and I provide some sort of audit number, like, you know, whatever, whatever, as a reference. All I need to just come over to the dashboard and I refresh all. And it's going to tell me that I plan audits for one process. I've closed it out. So the audit pro uh, progress is currently 100%. So that's how exciting this template is. All right. So let me just bring back the database because we want to make sure that um, whatever was there, we bring it back. If you buy this template, always make sure that you actually update this starting date. All right, so that is how exciting this template is. In case you're interested, all you need to do is just head over to the website, click on the audit program right here. Speak again soon in another video. Bye for now.